Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. Friends, we already configure YOLO 11 object detection where we are detecting object and we are tracking object. So in this session we will add one more features basically we are going to add a voice feature means we will detect our object we will track object and then we will add the voice means suppose our YOLO 11 detect a person so it will say the person is detected and how many persons are right now in front of our USB web camera let's just say right now if we have one person so it will say one person detected if I show a cell phone then it will say the one cell phone or two cell phone detected so this is what our today's project we will basically add voice for our YOLO 11 object detection method so before we move to our practical friends if we learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends for that just open Tony Python ID and we will install our basic packages so go to the tools manage packages search for OpenCV-Python hit enter it will search for OpenCV-Python first package click on install button done it will install OpenCV-Python then of course for object detection we need ultralytics so ultralytics hit enter first package click on install button done it will install ultralytics then we need CVZone CVZone package hit enter first package and then click install button done it will install CVZone so this is what our packages which we need for object detection so for today's project I have created new repository I will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser and then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository as you can see we successfully download our repository now just open download go to the downloads and this is what our repository right click winrar and extract as a folder name then just open folder again same folder and then we have all the files which require for this project so first we will use our usb web camera and then we will detect live object and then we will use mobile application ip cam mobile application ip cam so it means now we can access our mobile camera with the help of ip camera application in our windows machine and then we will basically mention the ip address for our code and when we start our mobile camera of course it will send a frame it will send a live frame on our windows machine and then of course we have our yolo 11 object detection so it will detect the object and it will it will add the voice feature simple so first we will start with our usb web camera object detection so for that sound obj 1.py this is what our python code sound obj 1.py just click on it and it will open our code with the help of tony python id so here this this is what our basic packages which we install one more package which we need which is pi tts x three so just open tools manage packages and search for pi tts x three and then hit enter so this is the package second one pi tts x three just select it click on install button done it will install pi tts x three on our windows 11 machine that's it done now this is what our basic code which we use for object detection using yolo 11 this is the basic code boxes class ids track ids and confidence level so the concept behind this project is because we have most powerful track id or we can say we have most powerful track object detection so when we start our usb camera of course it will detect object and then with the help of tracker it will assign a unique id for each object so it is now really easy to create a voice for object detection because now we have unique id for each object so let's just say right now i am in front of the camera so when it detect me as a person it will assign a unique id for me and whenever we have a unique id 
so it will not count a same id again again it will not count same id again again it means it will not uh, it will not basically call same class with the help of voice again and again you will get the idea when we start the code so this is what the concept because we have a tracker so it will not speak same class again and again if the track id will change then it will call that class name simple so let me start here code first it will detect me as a person first it will download our model of course yolo 11 s.pt as you can see it's downloading model one person as you can see it says one person because right now i am in front of the camera so it will use the class name and here it is as you can see one is basically unique id so because i have here one id for me so that's why it's not one calling cell phone. it's not calling same class name again and again same class name again and again so now let me show here i have here two cell phones so like this way two cell phone as you can see two cell phone and the unique id for this two cell phone is basically 5 and 6 so if i make like this way and again one cell show. phone so which cell phone id is change it will call only one cell phone now let me show you again one cell phone here it is as you can see this cell phone id is basically change so if i show again one cell phone as you can see now this cell phone id is changed now it's 11 so it's calling one cell phone one cell phone 14 so now we will start again our code and i will show the both cell phone to usb web camera one person two cell phone as you can see one person two cell phone also because we mention here a trading so here it is you will see we mention here a trading so when we have one process the second process will wait after the one process completed then it will start a next process simple so this is how our code will work basically also as i mentioned it will work with unique track id simple so now let me show you here i will start again a code and then i have here a chair one chair as you can see one person it is detecting a chair and now i have here also one more chair one person as you can see so it's detecting one person is detecting a chair now if i go back and if i sit in front of the camera so because the id if it is id is still there same id it will not call the per class name simple so this is how the code will work it will work using a unique track id simple now we will open our ip cam code so this is what our ip cam code sound obj ip cam dot py so just open it and first go to the file click on open and first ip cam dot py so ip cam dot py is basically code where we want to mention our ip cam mobile application ip address so you need to simply open your play store and just search for ip cam application and then install ip cam application inside your mobile done and then uh, when you start ip cam application uh, it will show the ip address of the server let me show you here ip cam i am opening ip cam uh, inside my mobile so you need to simply search ip cam application Uh, from uh, play store and then just install it the application and then uh, if when you open the ip webcam application 
at the end you will see the start server so just click on start server and it will show you the ip address of your mobile and that ip address you need to mention over here like this way mine is 192.168.0.102.8080 is the port and after that you need to mention short.jpg short.jpg simple so this is what your mobile ip address this is what our application port and this is the short.jpg just change the ip address you need to mention your ip address you need to mention the port number for ip cam application which is 8080 all case it's same and then mention the short dot jpg short dot jpg simple this is how you need to mention the ip address inside ipcam.py so this is the main code and from ipcam.py here it is as you can see ipcam.py we will call our cam uh, function we will call our cam function now let's just start our code now it will open our frame with the help of using our mobile camera one keyboard as you can see now this is what my uh, mobile ip camera so one keyboard is detected one mouse one mouse is detected one keyboard then one chair one chair detected one tv one tv one keyboard one keyboard one mouse one mouse as you can see now because I one am, keyboard i am continuously moving the mobile so id is the track id is changed simple so if I show a mobile cam, a mobile, let me check here, it's detecting or not. It's not detecting a mobile. One mouse. Let me. One keyboard. Make like One this. TV. As you can see. One cell phone. One cell phone. Now it's detected a mobile also. Simple. One keyboard. One book. one tv so friends as you can see now one keyboard now let's just stop the code so friends as you can see i have mentioned the full code you need to simply download ipcam application inside your mobile and then the mention then mention the ipcam link means your ip address then port number and then short.jpg this is for ip camera mobile ip camera and of course we have our usb camera detection also so it is really easy for USB web camera. You need to simply connect your USB camera with your machine and then start object detection with voice. It will count the, it will basically count objects also. Simple. So I hope you learned something from this video. I have mentioned the full code. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you, take care and bye-bye.